Hello, this is Abraham from EasyAutoDiagnostics.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I test the ignition control module on the 1999 through 2001 2.0 Honda CRV. When the ignition control module fails, the engine is not going to start because none of the four spark plug wires will spark. So it's important to test all four spark plug wires for spark before testing the ignition control module. If even just one spark plug wire sparks, then the ignition control module is OK. Now, if the four spark plug wires are not sparking, then it's important to test the ignition coil for spark before testing the ignition control module. If the ignition coil is sparking, then you can conclude that the ignition control module is OK. Now, if you need to test the ignition coil, you can find the link to my YouTube video showing you how to do it in the video description below. To test the ignition control module, I'm going to use an inexpensive LED light to check for its activation signal. This is a very accurate and effective way to test for a defective ignition control module. Now, you'll notice that the LED light has a black and red lead. And these leads have to be connected in a very specific way to get a correct test result. At the end of the video, I'll tell you more about the LED light I'm using and where you can buy one. You can also check the links in the video description below. To get started, I'm going to connect the black lead of the LED light to the yellow with green stripe wire of the distributor's electrical connector. This wire is the one that feeds the activation signal that the ignition control module needs to activate the ignition coil. Now, for this test to work, both connectors must remain connected together. To access the activation signal inside the wire, I'm connecting a wire piercing probe to the yellow with green stripe wire. Now, I'm connecting the black lead of the LED light to the wire piercing probe. The red lead of the LED light must be connected to the battery positive terminal. Now that I have the test set up, I'm going to crank the engine. The LED light should flash on and off as the engine is cranking. I'm cranking the engine one more time just to make sure of my test result. As you can see, the LED is flashing on and off. And this lets me know that the fuel injection computer is activating the ignition control module. Since the LED light flashed on and off, I can conclude that the ignition control module is defective only if none of the four spark plug wires are sparking and the ignition coil is not getting its activation signal. Now, if the LED had not flashed on and off, then I can conclude that the fuel injection computer is not sending the activation signal. Without this activation signal, the ignition control module will not activate the ignition coil. And the ignition coil will not spark. The most common cause of this missing ignition control module activation signal is a defective crankshaft position sensor. Hey, thanks for watching. And if this video was helpful, give it a like. I'll be uploading short and to the point video tutorials on a regular basis that'll save you time and money, so be sure and subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure and visit my website and download and print my free ignition control module troubleshooting guide. The link is in the video description below. Now, if you're wondering about the LED light that I used to test the ignition control module, it's a Radio Shack red LED light with a built-in resistor, and its part number is 276-0270. You can buy it online at Radio Shack's website by entering the part number in their search box. You can also run to your local electronics store and buy an LED light with a built-in resistor like this one I bought at Fry's Electronics.